Hello everybody, welcome back to Mercenaries. In the last part we did some missions for the um, PLAV. We did a couple of outposts, and in this part we're going to do the first main story mission. But before we do that, I thought it would be a good idea to listen to what this um, preacher lady has to say. And also look at some chillax gorillas. Um, that's what I like about the gorillas, they're all brilliant and stuff they really don't care so anyways now let's go meet um the PLAV leader Acosta and she'll have our first contract for us ah uh, yes the Swedish mercenary who's come to single-handedly detonate my country oh that would be fun but really I just want blank on so yes well I wish you better luck with that than I've had. My name's Acosta, Marcella Acosta. You've already worked for Universal Petroleum. Those pigs deal with Blanco and Solano. Why come to the People's Liberation Army? They gave me some info. I need more. Dr. Rubin thought you might know something. Said you've been out here fighting the VZ for a while. The VZ. We are the VZ. Venezuelans, all of us, remember that while you are a guest in our country. You are here for revenge, but we are resisting the imperialists. Sure. What do you know about Blanco? I know the location of a secret meeting between Blanco and Carmona's lieutenants, but I do not know when the meeting is. It could happen any time in the next few weeks, and I cannot spare the men to. That's okay. I think I can handle the when if you can give me the where. Very well. I will trade this information for your help in eliminating some of Carmona's troops. There's an old Viking saying, it's best to get paid for what you were gonna do anyway. What's the contract? The patriotic citizens of Merida are staunchly in favor of our struggle. Carmona sent one of his lieutenants, Mendez, to occupy Merida and keep the people in line. Mendez is responsible for killing dozens of people, Anyone who sympathizes with us, and many who were innocent bystanders. The people protested against this occupation. They are very brave. I want you to ensure their bravery is rewarded. Free Merida from Carmona's troops and bring Mendez to me. Alive, preferably. But dead is unacceptable. And you'll tell me what you know about Blanco. Okay, so on the so let's now we're going to go take over the city of Merida for the PLAV. Now this mission actually will be very helpful um, later on in the game because um, I'm tired of having to drive through Merida in host with the VZ occupying it because it's extremely difficult to get through. So anyways, now I have to go ahead and read a little bit on it. Um, Acosta wants you to eliminate the VZ presence for in Merida. This is going to be difficult to do without locating and getting rid of Mendez, the leader of the VZ unit in the area. But I'm sure if you destroy enough of his forces, he'll show up on the scene. And, um, if you look at the very bottom with that little, um, ex blue exclamation point, that is a bonus. Um, if you, if you complete the contract without killing any civilians, the cost will pay us a half a million, pay us $500,000 more on top of the $750,000 she's already going to pay us. Um, so, um, if you can free the city without killing civilians, which is, can be difficult, then you'll get a big bonus. So anyways, um, I actually found this contract to be quite difficult. Um, you'll see why, but it's really fun, and I love, because it's actually like a battle. But um, it's also difficult at the same time, and you'll see why. We need more and pay me the magic words. I mean. Yeah, so it's all the magic words. So anyways, um, as you can see, they um, request you have at least... Um, a tank, um, several things. Um, you'll see why this contract is difficult. Relying on you doesn't seem to concern her. Marxists, Maoists, capitalists, everyone loves relying on me until the bill comes. Mendez will come out of hiding once you've destroyed enough of his support. I've identified several occupied buildings in Rida for you to start with. Just keep away from the church. That's a PLAV stronghold. So anyways, um, apparently there's a church in downtown Merida. Just do not go to that church or 
let it be destroyed at all during this contract, or else you will fail the mission and have to restart. So, um, stay away from the church. Um, if you, um, if you. And as you can see, there is some tanks down here, and right down here, there is the gorilla tank that I mentioned looked very cool. Right there, there's the gorilla tank, and look how cool that thing looked. Um, I'm not gonna pick that up because that tank is basically worthless and is left probably just as armored as this thing is right here. Dang, I can kill somebody with a motorcycle. That's awesome. So, anyways, right up here, um, there is a um, easy tank. Now, here's a different hijack scene, and I hope you like this hijack scene, because you're going to see it probably over a hundred times in this part alone. So, anyways. And, um, go ahead and... That looks painful. Oh, crap. There's another tank. Get out of... So, anyways, now let's do another hijack scene, because that tank was going to get destroyed. I didn't see the other one. Um, anyways, now just go ahead and rapidly press square. And that takes care of that. And 57 health. Um, why are you shooting at me? Anyways, now right here, blow up this billboard, and now you get money for that. Um, the gorillas, one of their bounties is destroying billboards for some odd reason. If you blow up a billboard, they will, um, offer you a huge, gigantic bonus. Um, they will pay you $5,000 and give you some really cool support items to, um, call in if you just... So, like... So anyways, now, um, the gorillas are finally gonna be able to... Um, now I don't want you to get my things. Now the gorillas can finally advance past this roadblock. They know don't get in. Um, what are you doing? Um, well now I can't get a disguise. Um, two more billboards. So anyways, as you can see... So anyways, um... Way. Now we just go ahead and destroy this tank because it's not I don't need it. So anyways, I'll be going to hijack it now because now I do need it to survive. Um so three hijack scenes in the first few minutes of the game, eh? Um uh, by the way I'm recording in a higher quality now. Um, because the last quality did pretty good. Anyways, those are civilians. Don't shoot them because they will. <coughs> Excuse me. Do not shoot the civilians who want five hundred thousand dollars, which I would. I would. Um, anyways, this tank only has set, still apparently has a lot more health than I thought it did. Right up here, there is a PC um, target building. So um, there's three of these. You can probably get all three of them in this. And there's another building up here. Now, right here, there is a extremely good tank, I think. Um, I hope. This tank's actually, it looks the same, but it's actually better than the other tank, I think. Um, anyways, this, these are the tanks we drove in the first mission of the game. The Jaguar, um, they're better. They're the best tanks you can get right now, probably. And that's... And that tank's not any better than what we had, but it has more health. This one, on the other hand, it is, I think. So, anyways, now just go ahead and take down the building. Before the thing blows up. Okay, I did get the building, and for some reason, Fiona's not talking. Yes, this tank is the best, is probably the top three best tanks you can get in the game. This is a heavy tank. 
It has better guns and it is better armored, more armored than the other Jaguar tank. And there's no music now. I don't know what's going on. Maybe a glitch. Um. Anyways, as you can see, you get um 37 of these, and you also get um the thing. And that recoil's rifle only did about 11 damage to us. So now, anyways, just ride straight by here. Um. Well, I usually don't go this way, but I am today. Um. So yeah, um, this mission might take a little while, this mission's a long one, and as I mentioned, it's also difficult, so, um, anyways, now that you have a VZ disguise, um, this is, like, the tank capital of the world, so, um, I don't know what that tank is doing, um, there is probably over, hun there's hundreds of tanks patrolling Marina today, um, I I think it's because they know the battle is coming, and they're preparing for it. And um, you know, let me lose my disguise. That is the church, so don't destroy, don't damage it, and lose your disguise because that church is the PLAV's um stronghold, and that's where they have all their soldiers positioned. So just don't damage the church. Um, and now I'm somehow lost in the mystical maze of the city. Um. I am not an enemy, so do not shoot me. Just because I'm not an enemy. He's right around here, there's about three tanks. Make sure these tanks don't hit the church or just go and blow up all of them. Um, apparently this tank's not as good as I thought it was. It just has a little bit better weapons. And oh crap, there's a tank. Ah, no. Yeah, I can't die. Okay. I do not know what is attacking me now. Um, let me take out that tank before it does anything to the church. Okay, so now that tank's down. Now the helicopters won't hurt you, they're just transport helicopters, so when you see a helicopter, don't worry about it. There is attack choppers in the city, but um, they're not they're not here yet. Um, they come on later in the mission. Okay, so now, um, even though they said to stay away from the church, now they want you to go and defend the church. So, um, while they defend the church, um, they're, all the tanks are going to rally around the church. Okay, so over there is a spare part. Okay, so, um, there is about... So anyways, um, here's the church. Um, that church, if it, um, the mission succeeds. Is just, here's kind of the difficult part because, um, there are several tanks. Um, but anyways, there's also several these PLAV soldiers helping you out. So it's not like it's just you that gets... 700 VZ tanks. There's also PLAV soldiers scat scattered all around here, especially on this side of the building because they're on. Because as she said. So, anyways, and also they're not spawning any of the heavy ones. They're just spawning the regular tanks. Oh crap! Um, why? What did I do to you? Why are you calling in for support? I don't. You know, that's what you do if you kill a soldier. They'll call in support, and they have lines that they say. Um Um, you're blue and you're shooting me. Eh. I 
I'm not doing anything, Fiona. God. And I'm not doing why they're calling in support, but apparently I made them mad somehow. But. And. So now, um, this might be the part where I fail because there is. Um, the only thing they have left now is. So anyways, now it's still a tank. And while we're doing that, the church is going to take damage and maybe they can help defend it. Okay, so nice reinforcements and that tank and the church is taking damage. So anyways, now over here there's another tank. There's several tanks. Apparently, I accidentally shot some of them. This is this mission mission is a bit of a salt play. You have got to be kidding me! Really? I barely shot their soldiers, and now they're hostile. That's what happens. By the way, that's what happens if you kill too many of their soldiers. They will call in support. Eventually, that happens. They're, they are hostile towards you. So now I'm going to have to redo this entire mission. So um, I'll see you guys in a second. Um, and, we're, and we're back. I think I might have paused the recording. Um, I think the, the church is a checkpoint. So, um, okay, I will see you guys in a second. And we're back, um, and I've become a little bit better re prepared for it now, this time. Um, and this might fail miserably, but I hope not. Um, maybe now I won't make them hostile by accidentally shooting their soldiers trying to destroy a tank. That was an epic fail. That's why that mission's annoying, is because the glitch is kind of, more or less, not because you can die. And that's happened to other red players before and I this this was the this was a terrible plan because tanks are extremely accurate. Um they only Ooh, Let me get a little lower maybe now they can't get get to us. And you can still see me. They get way low and you can still see me so Anyways, this is a rocket pod. And there goes half the thing. So at least that doesn't make them mad. So anyways, now... So that takes care of that. Oh, really? What's an anti-air missile going to do here? It's a tank engagement. Anti-air missiles won't help at all. Um, anyway... Ow. Thank you, sandbags. Um... If it wasn't for these sandbags, I would not be alive. Um, anyways, that would be a good idea for an RPG, if I can find one. Okay, over here. Let's see if this black is... Now, just go ahead and lock, um... Still the tank. Anyways, this tank would be helpful, if just as long as I don't kill any soldiers during the process. I hope that I hope the church survives because I don't want to have to redo this again. Anyways here comes another tank from the west and the east. So anyways here's where the tank gets useful because um what just happened? Oh a section of the church went down or something.
Thank you, RPG. Yes. Sorry about the um, thing. I've just got to really concentrate because I don't have to redo this again. Anyways, this part's actually not as hard as you would think. So it's the, the, the okay. Thank you, RPG. So anyways, there's the health. And apparently they're going to try to get the church from over here. And over there. Anyways, now they're just all coming from the east. Which also sucks. Um. Ooh. Jen's boarding guy. Um, I need some ammo. Ow. Um, where's the health? Is there health around here? Of course not. And now they're also attacking from the west. And I am now probably dead. Hurry up, Fiona. Get him, get him. This is going to be the longest 30 seconds of my life. Because I cannot defend several things at the same time. Um, the church has plenty of health, so, and this is the longest 30 seconds of my life. Um, hurry up! Get him, the church is almost gone. So anyways, once you get to the church, you fine. Yes! Okay, so now just leave the church to die. So anyways, that tank is dead. Now it's just going. Okay, God, Fiona. Um, I don't know why there's a tank on top of that hill. But anyways, um, over here, um, this is where Mendez is, um, at. Um, I'm not gonna even gonna try to get him alive because I mean, even if it will benefit, um. Her because you don't get any extra money for getting him alive, so I'm just gonna shoot him. Um, ow. Um, going to try to heal. Just get a little. Just let me get over um 50 health before they start stealing tanks. Okay, go there. Now let's go. So anyways, those are some armored soldiers. So anyways, it's not worth trying to capture him alive, because it's just too much. There's the armored men, and there's Mendez. And now let's just go ahead and verify Mendez before we die. Okay, so that was a very difficult contract. Um. And we get paid. That's also a glitch because I did not kill, kill any civilian, so there's my half million dollars. Oh well. So, anyways, now um, that's gonna end it for this part. This extremely long and difficult mission it will be over. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time on Mercenaries. So, see you guys next time.